Today we're going to talk about uh, video editing software. Um, I use Windows Live Movie Maker. I know. Uh, and I use a Neural uh, Vision by a head, which is actually uh, a software package. Like it comes with more than one program, it comes with uh, CD DVD burning software. It comes with uh, um, audio editing software, it comes with video editing software, it comes with photo editing software, all sorts of things. It's, it, I think it cost me $99 Canadian. Um, and the other program I use, which is very popular in on YouTube, is Sony Vegas uh, Pro 9.0 64-bit edition because I'm on a 64-bit operating system. Now a lot of you uh, need to understand that as YouTube recommends, and they're not doing this to like, you know, uh, try to um, stunt your whatever. Like uh, when they tell you to stay within the original resolution, uh, bit rate, audio, and all that, there's a reason. Because if you do that, your video will look a lot better than if you, say for example, take this video here, uh, and it's uh, 640 by 360, which, in other words, 360p. Now if you take it and then you try to like, um, turn it into 720p high definition which would be twice the size because 360 times 2 is 720 and 640 times 2 is uh, 1280. So doing that and I have done that it usually makes it look bad. Um, if you're gonna do a slideshow type video uh, where you do just still pictures in a slideshow well, then it's usually best to use uh, 720p um, or 1080p um, but it all depends like uh, if you have the ratio of your picture is square 4-3 uh, then I would recommend 720p now if the ratio of your picture is 16-9 um, which is widescreen uh, rectangular uh, I would recommend using uh, 720p, 1080p. Um, now if you have a standard definition cam which both of my cams are uh, the webcam and the um, camcorder it's probably best to stay with standard definition um, uh, encoding. Um, now if you have high definition and you want a smaller size like the smallest you can uh, so it will save you uploading time I would say use uh, WMV Windows uh, Media Video um, for the format usually it's quite small if you do AVI and or AVI or MPEG 1 or 2 uh, the files can be up to 500 megabytes in size for a very short high definition video which is insane like unless you've got some incredible upload rate on your internet connection yeah that's a little bit crazy um, for me, I have a very slow upload rate, which I mentioned before, 0 0.5 megabits per second, not to be confused with megabytes. Megabits is smaller. Um, if you want to buy a program, the program I would recommend for video editing would be Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, that'll allow you to do fancy intros, uh, add video effects, um, trim the size of the video, uh, all sorts of things and it encodes in every format, it accepts every format 
Windows Live Movie Maker does not accept MP4 or MPEG4 um, because it's an Apple codec and uh, Windows or Microsoft doesn't want to pay to license uh, the license to use it so uh, some people have had success with downloading codec pa packs and installing them but I don't recommend that and if you do decide to try it make sure you scan it with your antivirus don't just go willy-nilly and install it um, what else uh, yeah, Sony Vegas Pro, some people say Adobe uh, Premiere, um, but that's a, like incredibly expensive program for somebody who's just making little vlogs or slideshows or whatever. Um, that program, I think, ranges between 500 to to $1,000 because it's not only uh, video editing, it's... Uh, flash making and all sorts of things uh, that uh, you wouldn't find in the less sophisticated programs um, and if you want to make a cool intro or something or an int a better intro than just an MS Paint intro I recommend looking for tutorials on YouTube uh, about intros for Sony Vegas typing Sony Vegas intro would help um, you can make some pretty cool intros as I have. Uh, I would recommend making them without audio when, because then in the future if you wanted to change the audio to the intro um, you just have the raw video file uh, without the audio. Um, yeah. One day I hope to get a high definition webcam uh, or I mean not high definition webcam, I mean a high definition camcorder, excuse me. Um, but I'm not going to get a flip cam. Um, I know a lot of people use them and they seem to do okay, but there's a reason they're cheap. Um, I, if I get anything, it'll be one of these uh, uh, high definition camcorders, maybe a JVC or something. Uh, but it's 600 bucks for 1080p um, high definition, so that's pretty expensive. Um, Windows Live Movie Maker or Windows Movie Maker for people on XP is very limited uh, to its abilities, like what it can do and cannot do. It can add like a lot of these uh, fluffy effects, like colors and. Uh, animation of text and whatever. Um, the only time I ever use is say like I make a two minute video or something and then I just toss it in there and I might make a high definition because it's really small at that at that um, time frame of two minutes but anything over that it gets starts to get big. Um, Neural vision isn't the greatest either. Like it does what I need it to do, um, but it's not like one of these um, video editing softwares that it's like, wow, look at that. No, uh, it's kind of just gives you a few simple tools and a few simple effects and whatever. Uh, but it does allow you to encode in pretty much every f uh, video format. Um, Sony Vegas Pro, the only reason I don't use it for much more than making intros is because um, the encoding time is incredibly long and I don't really like waiting. I don't think anybody really likes to wait. Um, if you have uh, any questions um, about this, like I know I can't cover everything because there's probably a lot of questions on uh, a subject like this or if you need any help uh, I can try and do that just post a question in the underbar I mean the underbar the video section um, uh, or if you want to make a response go ahead um, a video response go ahead um, yeah I'm getting pretty close to the end of my uh, 
10 minutes or 11 minutes or whatever so I have to kind of like stop right now but anyway uh, the ones I recommend in order of best to worst Sony Vegas Pro Neural Vision by a head and I'll link a bunch of that in the underbar uh, and Windows Live Movie Maker if you just want to do something really quick and you don't expect super quality